Welcome to the May newsletter for Capital Design Private Wealth. My name is Andre. For the past year, it seemed to me anyway, that the stream of bad news has mainly been interrupted by, well, worse news. Every week, it seems like we're confronted with death tolls, natural disasters, political shenanigans, business closures. And it's so easy to become fixated on doom scrolling is what I'm calling it and negative headlines. The media makes it so easy. But I want to challenge you. What if things are getting better? How will your life change when things go back to normal? Are you ready for that? Because I think we're on the upswing. Here's why I think things are getting back to normal rapidly in 2021. Vaccines are proving effective against COVID-19, and we have a few of them now. At least one of them is effective against these new variants that we see popping up. And the rollouts are going pretty well and accelerating. Once a large proportion of our population is vaccinated, we can expect to see that community transmission just plummet and normal life will resume. It's just like that. Imagine what that will feel like. Economists think, economists think that there's a tidal wave of growth coming, uh, roaring back this year. And, and I agree with them. In fact, I think it's already starting. That's good news for businesses, workers and markets. And that's a lot of good news. So why don't we see it? What do you think? Are you ready to start planning for life after the pandemic? What's the first thing you're going to do? For me, I'm going camping with my kids. I'm going to take that trip to London that got canceled for my anniversary. I'm going to give huge bear hugs to everyone I love. And I'm going to go to a bar and sit right next to my best friend and have a beer. I can't wait. Does that mean everything's going to be just peachy? I wish it could, but I don't think it will. You know, we've lost too much and we still have a lot to do. We can't ignore the over 500,000 deaths in the U.S. we've lost to the pandemic or related. Each one was a member of our human society and a loved one. Millions of jobs that are probably never coming back and medical staff and essential workers and teachers that are way overworked and, you know, and under strain. There are a lot of divisions in our society that still remain and markets are frothy. They're volatile and they probably will remain so for a while. I could see a normal sell off happening and that's quite possible. However, I'm choosing to be hopeful for 2021. Are you?